What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today, it's time to talk about all of the Black Series figures that we need from the Ahsoka TV series. Happy Friday the 13th. <laughs> As you can see, we're very festive today. You're rocking the part two, I'm rocking the part five. Got the mask here. It's also spooky season, October, so it's just really right. coincidental, mm -hmm. safe and cozy. But we wanted to continue our series that we've been doing, but we have a highly relevant episode this time because True. Ahsoka just ended mm -hmm. the previous week, which I did get to watch the finale in the hotel. Me and Lucy snuggled up, newly engaged, and watched it on an iPhone. Nice. <laughs> Definitely and the way it was meant to be seen. For sure. <laughs> Not in 4K at yeah. all. But you and I, we both like the show, mm -hmm. which we've kind of been on a string of disappointment right. with live action Star Wars, aside from Andor, which is goaded, of course. Mm -hmm. But we did enjoy the series. Yeah. I think I liked it more than you did since we were talking about this a little bit before we started filming and you said it's your fourth favorite out of everything. I just, I can't put it above Mando 1 and 2 and Andor. Mm -hmm. I feel like Andor is separate, though. I feel like that's just, like, a whole different, like, it's grounded Star Wars. Right. But I did like Ahsoka, and there's plenty of figures that we need from the show. Absolutely. But to be fair, like, they've been going hard. Yeah, they have been doing a pretty good job at getting all of the figures that we want. You know, we already have an Ezra, Sabine, Balin, Shin coming, Hu Yang's coming, Rock, Hera. HK87, even though we're not picking that one up. And the Ahsoka repack. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. They got tons already out, but there's quite a bit more. I think we have, what is this, seven picks? Yeah, there's still quite a bit from the mm -hmm. show that I would definitely like to see and before we jump into this episode don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new and remember you could have been watching this video early if you are in a position to help support the channel at the basement battalion level there is a link in the description down below so justin first things first ahsoka the white yes i mean come on we as soon as the <laughs> outfit debuted on screen i was like oh yeah i'm gonna need a figgy of that 100 percent oh yeah of course ahsoka the white there's a lot of greek mythology biblical stuff lord of the rings stuff found in this series it's not entirely new to star wars to use greek mythology but i would love this character especially you know after that anakin clone wars episode she's kind of reborn mm -hmm. has a different outlook and I would definitely like to get this figure. I tried my best to keep it to like figures I would actually buy. Right. Cause sometimes I've noticed, I'm like, wait, would I actually buy that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I definitely would buy Ahsoka the White, but I have a few stipulations. Okay. We need properly sculpted Leku. True. Because the Ahsoka series, she has the longer, you know, more accurate to her animated counterpart style on the you know costume design right and we need the soft goods cloak we cannot have the cloak price locked behind a three pack exclusive to amazon we can't do it again yeah i have a feeling they're probably going to deliver on this figure i feel like we're in a really good place right now where a lot of figures are getting soft goods mm -hmm. especially like when we look back at some of the kenobi stuff oh, yeah. a lot of that had soft goods so hopefully, since it's, you know, a Disney Plus show, maybe they've got a little bit more budget to work yeah. with on the figure, and they can give us the cloak, they can give us a better head, mm -hmm. and also deliver on an accurate costume, because I don't really think they could just repaint the Mando figure. I feel like there's quite a bit that's actually different about the white costume, so yeah. they... they would probably have to do almost an entirely brand new figure. We also need the Great Mothers. Mm. Because that was like out of left field. I was not expecting some yeah. Dathomir, Night Sister, witches, and their design is so cool. And they could also work on a Clone Wars shelf. Oh, if absolutely. You so choose. Right. Yeah, that was definitely a pleasant surprise. I love all the, you know, Dathomir lore that we've gotten, especially recently with like Jedi Fallen Order and yes. just more Maul stuff in general. So 
the inclusion of the Great Mothers was a welcome surprise. And they would make great figures. They'd probably all be traffic cones. But I just really need them to stand there and, you know, give us cool hand poses. Don't Morgan Elsbeth us yeah. with, with yeah. two C-grip hands. Right. You know, actually give us some, like, cool spell casting hands with these figures, Agreed. please. And Justin, you know we love clones. <laughs> and we actually saw quite a few clones. In Very true. the series. So our clone pick is going to be the blink and you miss it, phase one Captain Rex. This screenshot is about to be funny because <laughs> he's not really, he's in it and you can tell that it's him. But obviously the money shot later in the episode is the phase two yeah. look, which we already have. So I think this would be a perfect excuse to get phase one rex <laughs> right obviously famously from the clone wars animated series yeah and this is actually a figure i would really love to have i would actually enjoy phase one troopers for a lot of the commanders yeah and we're in good luck i mean they did pipeline the phase one regular on the 2023 body mm -hmm. so maybe we can get a phase one rex on that 2023 <laughs> with all the upgrades and that would stuff be so i'd be good. so down Yes. for that continuing that sort of flashback stuff you know anakin skywalker yes. is going to be on this list and it's you know perfect because it's essentially his episode three revenge of the sith look you know in the world between worlds sequence hayden looked great i love that they did at least some without the digital de-aging right i'm like just let hayden be hayden in his natural state yeah and i would take regular Revenge of the Sith Hayden, Sith Eyes Hayden. I would take, plop his head on the Clone Wars one. Oh. Like, cause his Clone Wars look in the show was just perfect. It's mm -hmm. everything I imagined it would be. Yeah, they did a really great job translating the Clone Wars costume to live action. Mm -hmm. So now I'm looking over at the Target exclusive figure from a few years ago and I'm just like, well, now that head sculpt just went way down in quality in my right. in my book now i'm like i need a hayden clone mm. wars anakin head now this amalgamation head they did before no longer valid right it needs to happen and i think it will happen because again it's one of those weird things where it's like it has to appear in a different movie or a different show for us to do a new sculpt for it mm -hmm. and here it goes like hasbro Follow your own weird, odd Lucasfilm, Disney stipulation, like whatever that is. Here's your rule. Follow it. You can do the new Anakin now. It's a different show. Please. <laughs> we will buy it, even though it is in an Ahsoka box. And then, hey, tweak it slightly, put it in a Revenge of the Sith package, and a lot of people will probably buy it again because there is a reason Anakin Skywalker is one of the most expensive Black Series True. figures. True, good point. And with that, we just have to mention the live action Thrawn. The Black Series figure that exists now, it's good. It I, is good. I like it. The head that they did is definitely more like EU inspired, mm. uh, like older canon with the very, you know, sharp angular face. True, yeah. So I would like to see more of like the live action style where he looks more like a regular person yeah old lars mickelson fantastic mm -hmm. loved thrawn in the series and you know live action is the definitive you know that's what black series goes for most of the time yeah so i'd be kind of surprised if he didn't get a figure especially as like one of the main villains of the series yeah and they could do you know the little ripped up bits of the costume yeah it's, it's hard to see but there's a little tiny bit of weathered battle damage on his uniform i mean i feel like they got to do that to differentiate from yeah. the thrawn figure that we already have mm -hmm. and you know they would do a great job with him and maybe he could include some accessories that could complement the great mother figures or mm -hmm. vice versa they come with stuff to work with each other mm -hmm. that'd yeah. be really cool to see oh yeah and now we're getting to the goodies here oh, this yeah. is like the stuff that's like i saw it and immediately i was like figure 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 night troopers coming in what is this our second to last spot mm -hmm. night troopers night troopers night troopers they are just everything we love stormtroopers <laughs> now with 
different battle damage <laughs> cracked helmets red fabric all throughout their costumes and then with the finale z- zombies yeah i'm like there's a couple different <laughs> variations we can get yeah. we can get them in the human form because at first they are just you know regular old troopers mm-hmm. and then you know after they are killed during a specific scene they become reanimated corpses zombies yep. and there's even a death trooper one variant and <laughs> true, i'm like with true. the exposed jaw and yes. everything i was like i'll get me a figure of that as well yeah that was one of the last things i expected star wars to give us a little like full-on like horror moment it, it's almost kind of creepy how the empire which is it used to be such an official like thing is has it, they're now so desperate that they are resorting to like these dark arts yeah like dark magic it's kind of an element i mean even though i hate this movie even like rise of skywalker kind of has that theme going right, on right where they're just so desperate and like resorting to like this mad science Mm -hmm. well magic in this case so the night troopers i mean the 2020 body different variations and wraps and cracks and battle damage and our final pick for this episode is captain enoch of course i i love the design Mm -hmm. he kind of has that japanese art style like kintsugi i think it's called where it's like the broken pieces of pottery Mm, and they like mend it and like put different pieces in it it's and it's like samurai as well yeah gave me a little bit of like gladiator like russell crow gladiator vibes yeah just so cool Mm -hmm. it's just cool yeah i mean (laughs) he's a trooper it's got like some, you know, gladiatorial, cool Roman faceplate thing going on. Right, and it's a staple of Star Wars. Cool guy or girl who just stands there and looks cool. It's literally since the original trilogy with Boba Fett. Mm-hmm. A person who, I'm sorry to break it to you, stands there and looks cool. Doesn't do all too much, but becomes a fan favorite. Right. That's just... It's a staple of Star Wars. Yep, and Captain Enoch definitely fills that slot. And so there you have it. There were the characters that we would like to see as Black Series figures. Let us know which characters you would like to see in the comments down below. Big missing one. Where's Ezra? Not on the list. Yeah, there's going to be some glaring omissions because I don't know if I would buy an Ezra because it gives me guy in clothes vibes. Yeah, I feel like i'm just not too keen on the outfit Mm. so that's why ezra's not on here if you're watching this far in the video or like sabine in the poncho or the different outfits of sabine i'm like do i need three four five sabines right probably not so there are going to be some omissions like the turtle people fine without them yeah i don't need those (laughs) although i think i might be interested in a jason sendula i'd probably Mm. pick one up for the show okay Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. Like I mentioned earlier, you could have been watching this video a whole lot earlier if you are in a position to help support the channel at the Basement Battalion level. There is a link down in the description of this video. Also check out the Discord that's free to join and is a great way to get connected with the community. As always, we got to give a huge shout out to our current channel members, though. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for watching. I'm Nate. I've been joined with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you all next time on Out of the Basement. (sighs) All right, man. Yeah, great episode. Yep, that was a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I got to take a leak, man.